Keep on she. Right, we'll just take also this opportunity to say a uh, special good morning. Bonjour, I'm not sure what uh, language you will choose to speak to us here this morning. Let's say good morning to Sabrina. Ça café, comment vas-tu? You can hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, perfect, perfect. I'm going to tout to you bien, hein? Et que tout le monde Et puis nous. All right, I mean, okay, so see, she's just hoping that everybody stay tuned as we are here for the next uh, 50 minutes or so. Welcome, guys. We have, yeah. uh, you know, a very, very special and still important event coming up here in Dominica. But, Melia, before we jump into it, we need to say good morning to our sponsor, Digicel. You Digicel. Know, the, yes, the we can't forget them. But, you know, they're in studios with us too. <laughs> yeah, well, yes, they're in studios with yes, us too. We're sponsored yeah. by Digicel for this. Not just this edition, but Creole Heart Creole is sponsored by Digicel. So thank you. And to Mava and the crew over there, good morning. A pleasant good morning to you. All right. All right. So Gregory, again, like I was just saying, you know, we have this special event coming up that's carried for, for Dominica. And the reason why we say carried for Dominica is because it's not only happening in Dominica, but it's Dominica's term. So um, I'm not sure if I should direct this question to you or to... Uh, Sabrina, as you know, we just go, we, we try our best to make the listeners understand and maybe even expound on what is it that we uh, or they should look forward to in the next coming month. Well, Sabrina has some limited time, so maybe yes. she should have a go. Okay, Sabrina? Okay, no problem. Yes, yes, it's uh, Riches Caraib and the, the caravan of Riches Caraib is arriving in Dominica. Uh, Dominica will be the fifth stop of this caravan of this song Caribbean song challenge that really aim at the end to put together all the Caribbean singer. So this uh, stop in Dominica will have uh, the purpose of it is to elect the winner who will represent uh, Dominica uh, at this big gathering in, in October. Mm -hmm. But before we continue, Sabrina, good morning. We're not seeing you on camera. I wish that we could see your beautiful oh, face Oh, yes. You know what? <laughs> I, I thought that uh, you can see me now. Yes, we can see. Oh, I love oh, your okay. hair. Look Perfect. at you. <laughs> okay. But, yes, but before I, we can... I wasn't sure that you were able to see me, so that's why I turn it off. <laughs> that's okay. We have the Facebook viewers also who would love to see you. But before we continue, Milia, mm -hmm. you know, it would be great to know the inception of, well, of course. you know, yeah, you know. So we know you're catted to be in Dominica, but we would like to know, like, who are you? You know, what started this movement before people actually sign up to be a part of the event in July? So what's the inception oh. of Riches Carib? I'm bad at the Creole, Milia. I pronounce it. <laughs> You're all right. You, you're Riches, yeah, Riches, right. Riches Caraib. Yes. Yeah, what's the inception? Yeah, yeah, but you said it well, you know. Okay. Um, in fact, Riches Caraib is um, the, the goal of Riches Caraib. It's an initiative to really put Caribbean people together to highlight our culture, our Caribbean people and the cultural stakeholder, and also highlight the, the country who participate to that first edition. And uh, really, all of that, uh, we really want to boost the, the the cultural industry in the region. So this is the the song challenge is a part of our activity uh, because in each island we a, we also organize a, an event, a cultural event that will highlight an aspect of our culture. So in Dominica, it will be the music, the Caribbean music. The name of the event is Caribbean Beatscape. And um, we are also working on a digital platform mm -hmm. that will also highlight the cultural stakeholder because we will have a directory, we will have a blog page. This blog page also will help us to highlight the Caribbean people, highlight the Caribbean country and I like our our story, you know, our culture roughly, you know. So this is uh, this is Riches Caraib, and we really want to put uh, to highlight uh, all the best of the Caribbean. Okay, so sorry. So ultimately, you're saying it's a song competition. However, in Dominica, you're highlighting Caribbean music. Yeah, exactly. Okay, exactly. and then when you move on to another island, you will then be highlighting something else? 
Yeah, exactly. Okay. In uh, August, we will highlight uh, the cinema, and uh, obviously, in each, in each. Oh, sorry, maybe a little bit noisy. So, uh, in each island, we are uh, we have a different theme, and we always have that song challenge. Okay, perfect. Yes. Dominique yeah. is a good place, uh, Mia, for them to actually do music. We have Buyo, we have Cada Slip, so we have quite yeah. a number of genres that is originated here. So, yeah, yeah, and Thank you. we will be there during the Cada Slip so month. So, mm -hmm. you know, this has uh, also a big importance for us. In fact, we chose that month because of that. Yes. To, to tell you. <laughs> okay. But Sabrina, if you permit me, because um, as you mentioned, Dominica is the the fifth stop. Um, can yeah, you can exactly. And you know, again, people who are listening who might be interested would want to know what was it like and where have you been? Again, what was it like in the first four legs? Okay, no problem. In fact, we started in Martinique. In Martinique was the opening event. And uh, during that event, uh, it was the opportunity to introduce the, the Richest Carey project. Uh, and then we have been in, um, we have been in St. Lucia. The theme was the cultural village, uh, like an ecosystem to a sustainable ecosystem, you know, because we also had uh, talented people who showed us what they were able to do singers, we had a crawl with young people, we have also artisan, and we also have pan we also had panelists uh, on agriculture, the fishing and the sustainable development. So the idea was to put all of that together and how to create an ecosystem, a sustainable ecosystem thanks to the culture. And uh, then in Anguilla, talk about the impact of the heart and culture on tourism and then in uh, in Barbados we had uh, several designers coming from the Caribbean from Martinique, Guadeloupe, Anguilla uh, and also Dominica she came from Dominica uh, to, 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 to in Barbados it was in Barbados and uh, uh, yes we had uh, 10 designer 10 11 designers sorry uh, coming from the Caribbean to show us the the, the talents of the, of the, the local designers, and it was a fashion. All right. So um, as you heard, you know, it 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 just says really that we we in the Caribbean we are so diverse because when you listen to what uh, Sabrina just mentioned you would have had um, fashion being put on display you've had uh, agriculture being put on display and now we come into Dominica we're going to put our music on display so it, it is it is very interesting to see that um, you know we are our unique island by ourselves but at the same time we are diverse but if we, of course yeah. if we come together so much we can we can offer each other as well yes. so when I read the I read the requirements for anyone who wanted to be a part of the um, competition here in Dominica. Amelia, did they throw you out? Huh? <laughs> they, throw, they throw you out because I realized that I can be a part. So it's from 18 to 35. Oh, I mean, that's what you meant. Yes. Yeah. No, no, no. It's not that you can't sing. I no, cannot in terms sing. Of age, you're referring to. Yeah, that. yeah. In terms of age, I cannot sing. You can sing, but <laughs> your TWA but it put me in. <laughs> So tell us a little bit about um, the category, the categories, because I also read that you can do any Caribbean music, but you can also do yeah. something that is non-Caribbean, and also yeah. the requirements. Yeah, in fact, um, this this challenge is open to young people from eighteen to thirty-five, and that is true that we we have we would highly prefer to only have. Um, Caribbean genres of music. Um, that is true that, you know, with the globalization, we, young people have, can have different influences. So that's why we decided to open it to all genres of music. And um, yes, they, are, they have to present uh, original work. So it could be a song that we didn't hear anywhere else before. So this is uh, this is the goal of it, and uh, I would like to mention also something else. Um, you know, we, we will also release an album that will find the song of each winner. 
Sabrina. Um, bear with us. We we are not hearing you clearly. There's a lot of wind in your mic. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, maybe it's gonna be better now. Yes, it is a bit better now. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yes. Um. Yes. So I was saying that uh, this challenge is open to young people from 18 to 35. They will have to present an original work. So no cover. A song that comes from them and um, and the song it might be that song they will present all, another song but another original uh, another original song uh, will be um, released on a Caribbean compilation okay Melia do you have any yeah. more questions for Miss Sabrina um, well because um, I'm Sabrina, because you mentioned original. So um, I was I wanted to know if um, the competition itself will take form of uh, how it went in. Um, for example, I was in St. Lucia. Uh, will it take the same pattern as it did in St. Lucia? Because I remember in St. Lucia, there was um, the, the, the participants were able uh, to present an original song because there were two rounds. So they were able yeah. to present an original yeah. round and then they would yeah. sing anybody else's song. No, in fact, St. Lucia was, uh, I would say it was a try because, uh, yeah, they thought that uh, it would be better. But finally, in the all other places, we did one round round. with this original song. No cover, no No, cover. No no copy. So just one round and you would have to present your original yeah. song okay so yeah. um quickly sabrina let the listeners know um what is in it for them when they participate you know when people want to take part in something what am i getting out of it okay no problem so the winner first of all will have the opportunity to come in martinique to represent dominica and uh, it will during that it will be for well, a week an entire week during that week he will have the opportunity to exchange with the other winners of the challenge and mainly they will uh, they will benefit from a a workshop session with uh, with international executives uh, coming from the USA Canada and the other on other Caribbean islands so they it will be a three days workshop so and then um, they will also be a part of the, the this Caribbean album that will compile all the title of each winner. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. Okay. So they will be going not only not only they'll be going against each other or the, the winners from the various Caribbean islands, but there is an opportunity for them to have their sound, you know, be on record with the the other winners. There will be a workshop yep. for them as well. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. It will be an entire week in Martinique, so it will be also an opportunity to discover the 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 nice island of of Martinique. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it is. It is nice. All Amelia, right. um, just one thing. Um, when we talk about the original song, right? Um, it doesn't only have to be a song written by the singer, mm-hmm. or yeah, it could be another song because we have many songwriters. So, so the, the, in a sense, we are calling on the songwriters to get busy as well, you know. I mean, they usually have many songs in the repertoire, and many of the young singers themselves sing, or they have their own songwriters, that, that kind of thing. So it doesn't, mm. it doesn't um, remove the, the fact that uh, the original, when you refer to the original song, it means an original song, mm-hmm. but it doesn't necessarily have to be um, written by the performer, but it has yeah, to be an yeah, original song. We, we have a lot of budding artists in Dominica. And, uh, you know, sometimes we even have controversy in terms of the type of music. Are there any limitations as to the type for the lyrics or the, the context of the songs? Because, you know, we're young people and the age range that you put there, young people really going to come with the colorful stuff. So for the requirements, can they, are there limitations to the lyrics and to the content? Yeah, Greg- Gregory, you want to answer to that one? Well, basically, um, you know, it's, it's the normal standards for such competitions. You don't have songs preaching hate 
a worshiping Satan and you know that kind of thing. It's a typical it's a typical um standards for for, for regional and international song community. So no four letter words and you know profanity and, and, and stuff like that. Show is so, a four letter word. You know what's gonna I I, show I, is I, a I, four letter thing. What do you mean by the four letter? I was gonna mention <laughs> you <laughs> might know the four letter thing. So it would the lyrics would be like yeah, um in any event, too, that uh, well, the judges are going to judge as well. So if you ignore these criteria and then you come with your your, your slackness, well, the judges will just you, you know ask uh, you. You know, Sabrina, um, something I was looking forward to, but like you just mentioned, um, it is only one round because I remember again in Saint Lucia there was this promotional one. Remember that? Mm-hmm. Where they were promoting, there was a song to promote the island. It was very creative from the part mm-hmm. of uh, from the from the participant. It would have been beautiful to see how yes. much we can promote our island in song. Yeah, especially yeah. since okay. Dominica's stuff is about song music. Music. Yeah, but um, also in addition to that, I saw that we're gonna have nine finalists. So a lot of people are going to, I guess, audition, send their music, in, and then only nine will be chosen for the night of the competition. Yep. Yeah, yeah, exactly. In fact, they will be able to uh, apply uh, online in fa- on the Riches Caribe website. So uh, it's R I C H E E S K A R A Y I B dot com, and uh, they will see. They will have a few information about the the song challenge. They will find the the form that they will have to fill out and also the roles for this challenge and uh, we they will also see a few picture of the previous um, stops all right okay. and um, how soon can they can they register is there an opening date and a closing date yeah the opening date will be on the 15th of this month so it's tomorrow, tomorrow. tomorrow. Mm-hmm. yeah yeah exactly so it's gonna be from tomorrow until the 5th of july okay so they, they can also follow us on the social media we put all the information on social media so yes everything is online okay all right. um i have a man <laughs> have somebody saying that they are 40 but they think this would have been an amazing opportunity yeah. for them they've waited their whole yeah. life to be a star <laughs> so <laughs> is there a particular reason as to why it, there's an age limitation yeah in fact um okay to, to tell you everything at the very beginning we really want to to touch to to reach, sorry, to reach uh, all, every everyone from seven to seventy-seven. Okay, and uh, the thing is that we had to find a way to reach the young people uh, through um, a theme uh, that is working worldwide. And music, obviously, mm-hmm. is one of the theme that is uh, reaching out the most of young people i would say so that's why we we choose uh, we choose it and to tell you the truth at the beginning it was uh it was 18 to 30 and then we had uh, at the first stop in martinique we had so many people over 30 who asked for it so we said okay we push it to 35 but at the beginning it was 30 you know okay okay but um And again, another reason I think is because that's a youthful age. When you consider you between 18 and 35. To 40. It, it has increased? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I didn't know that, Joey. <laughs> I didn't know that. But again, so uh, registration opens tomorrow yes. from Ju- June yep. 15th to the 5th of July. When is the big event? The big event will take place on the 15th of July at Alliance Française mm-hmm. uh, at Roseau. So we will have all the nine finalists. We will have our the member of the jury. We will have also our mentor, our local mentor, because uh, there is something that I didn't mention earlier. In each stop, so in each country, we have a mentor. We have a special session with the finalists. So it's a first opportunity for them to exchange with a local professional and you know to i would say to prepare them to go to 
to, to the competition. Okay, so is this a show where family members and friends can come and support? Because um, Alias Fois says is you know it's 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 good, but it's, it's quite small. So is this somewhere a, a place where they're going to be selling tickets? You're going to be selling tickets for the show, or mm, it is everything is free. First of all, okay, everything is free. We really aim to put people together. So for that, the best way is to make everything free. So it will be open to everyone. So people will be able to come and see and support. So yeah. Okay, so we can we definitely will have supporters on that evening. All right, um, Melia, I don't know if you want closing words from Sabrina now because she promised fifteen minutes and we have her here for half an hour. Yes, yes, and I, she <laughs> that's, did mention that she she has to go. So yes, um, yes. Sabrina, yeah. if you have any closing um, views and comments. Yeah, first of all, I would like to thank you for this opportunity. You know, and uh, we are really glad to come in the beautiful island of Dominica. So thank you again for that. And what I would say is, you know, Riches Caraib is a, a Caribbean project. So even if I come from Martinique, we have Gregory from Dominica. So the idea is really to put all the Caribbean together and show the world how the Caribbean people are talented. So, um, yes, yeah, so what I would say is to come and apply for this strong challenge. It would be a great opportunity, a great Caribbean and opportunity. So, uh, yeah, this is what I would say. And also, we will have on the 14th the, the music event. So I assume we will have the opportunity to provide with more details about that, that event. All right. All right. Thank, uh, Sabrina, thank you so much uh, for stopping by. And, of course, we will, we will see you in Living Colors coming soon. Yeah, thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a good one. You too. See you. Bye. All right. Bye. And this was uh, Sabrina Assis, or Assis Sabrina here, joining us from Martinique, uh, just uh, giving us uh, uh, the details as to, um, of course, the requirements for this uh, big song challenge we don't want to sc you know it's the first time i've really heard people say song challenge normally you hear song contest Com yeah. and song competition mm -hmm. but of course it's richard sky so we gotta be special right yes of yeah. course <laughs> I mean, you have all this challenge all over the world what you call it the jerusalem challenge yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Right? It's, so, it's a challenge, it's a so challenge. It's a the challenge. tiktok challenges uh, <laughs> an important um bit of information for yes. the people interested in applying is that Apart from filling up the form, which is on the Rishi Escarib um, website, mm -hmm. well, within the form, too, you, 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 there is a section where you have to upload your music. Right. Yeah? Now, the, the music has to be done mm -hmm. on video. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you have to send it in a video MP4. format. MP4. Mm -hmm. Now, the, 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 the recording itself or the song that you're sending, I mean, it can take the form of an a cappella, just you singing and crooning away, no no accompaniment, um, because the focus is really on the voice, you know. Um, and um, when um, the other thing is that you could have a, a, a backing track, like people normally do for song competitions. You go to the studio and you record a pretty semi or professional backing track, and then you sing over it, you record it properly, and then you submit that as well as an mp3 file kind of thing right um or it can, well mp3 and mp4 that's that's a simple conversion as well mm -hmm. the other thing too is that you can actually record yourself on video yeah your phone or, or, or yeah playing a guitar or playing a piano and singing away as well you see so, so it can be like three sort of formats a cappella you playing a guitar or piano and instrument. then singing and then you record that an instrument could be the drum as well and, and the third one is you 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 you're performing to the camera over a recorded track a song track mm -hmm. so that makes it a bit easier as well for the participants because sometimes when you when you hear about song competitions boy the first thing you think we are going to get the money to go mm -hmm. in a studio and record a backing mm -hmm. track and all that kind of stuff so it makes it very easy for you actually are almost cost free in that sense where you can just pick up an instrument or do an a cappella because the focus is on the voice.
yes. for its quality. It's I mean, yes, there was the question about original material and so on, mm -hmm. but a lot of it is so it's, it's, it's the voices, Rich Escarib voices mm -hmm. song challenge. So a lot of focus is on the vocals, the voice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't have the um, judging criteria th uh, with me here, but uh, of course we can always um, do that. But online, yes. the the, the that rules should are be there. available as well. The rules are and um, what generally speaking, the focus really is on the voice. Okay, so these are the ways that you can actually um, upload, or the formats that you can use to upload your music on the form that is available on the Richard Scarry website. I will assume as of tomorrow. Yeah, and you have about three and a half weeks or so to do that. Mm -hmm. And um, the judges now, our local panel of judges, then will select from all the um, submissions to a nine. To a nine. And then that nine will be announced somewhere about July 8th or 9th. Mm -hmm. And then um, we got the show on the 15th, which will bring together um, live performances by the finalists who will be judged on that performance of the night. Okay. So, you, mm -hmm. so song competitions are normally about the fan flair, you know, the music and who will win maybe a million dollars. Mm -hmm. But then I'm reading that um, this particular one is in association with a certain group, some groups. We have ASIS and I'm looking here at the expertise. You can see they have the purpose and the expertise. And I'm seeing that they do import, export, cooperation, culture and training. So, and then we have Omadak. Um, 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 Omdak, um, um, Omdak, and uh, then they are arts, culture, the expertise is art, culture, events, Creole, training, cooperation, and of course, Sakai Malad, which is local, where we focus on art, culture, and Creole. So are we saying that when you guys sat down and think about this, when you thought of it, you are hoping that these are the things that you'll be able to put into the winners? that you would be able to import their music, export their music, show them how to have a business mind and not just a singer, you know, train them, you know, because this, Milia, this sounds like, this sounds like a whole production. This sounds like The Voice USA. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, to know that it, you can get all that from yes, it. The, 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 the point to note here too, that the final or the grand finale in Matic is not a competition. It's just a show, a normal mm. show, uh, which will showcase the winners of the 10 participating countries. The competition happens at the various legs. So the Dominica leg, Martinique leg, St. Lucia leg, and so on. That's where the competition so you, actually so happens. So the winner from Dominica is already a winner. That's it's correct. Full stop. That's what so it now, is. So now, and then um, to, to speak to the point that she just raised, that is why we have the workshop the business mm. of music workshops mm. so the, so that's like part of the prize for so that so the whole dominica leg plus the matnik grand finale and all of that provides um a platform and it provides media opportunities for the person who wins mm -hmm. and so in a sense um is a way to launch or relaunch or or whatever or, or kick it, kick and um, give a boost um to the career of the winner mm -hmm. in that sense. So it's a very important price consideration, I must say, mm -hmm. for the winners. Yes, and, and, and when you when you when you look at it, you have you 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 may not see it then, but you're gonna have the opportunity because you are here locally and you're singing and you might be telling yourself, where, where, how far can I go? I can mm -hmm. sing, but yes. I'm not getting the opportunity. Being and a winner is gonna give you the opportunity not just to be on show, but you have the opportunity to meet with producers not only from the Caribbean, from, from U, the USA, Canada. So you you have an avenue to just big up yourself, basically. Yes, yes, I mean, and Martinique is a place where you have a lot of media presence, um, a lot of promoters, a lot of, yeah, so, so in that sense, um, the, the winner from Dominique for is, is able to make use of all these opportunities while in Martinique. Mm -hmm. And very importantly, too, all the winners will be um, doing a recording of their songs. So that's an album is going to be produced of the winning songs from mm -hmm. each country. And that's another very major area for uh, opportunity for the Dominican winner. So the prize is actually quite interesting. Yes. I mean, I've gotten some feedback along those lines. Say, well, the prize is quite interesting. Mm -hmm. so, um, um, so that's cool and that's great. Um, so we encourage the 
the, the singers and people listening to Creole Habit this morning to get in touch with your 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 sister, your cousin, and your inner your self, friend. your inner singing. Yeah, who have a voice. Yeah, you know, it's all sings. about the voice. Yeah, you got your you got and more. And, you know, um, and, you know, and, and, and again, you you know, as you said that, um, Gregory, you know that's why we are the strongest when we are alone in a room, mm -hmm. in our bathroom. Yeah, yeah. So. This registration is giving you the opportunity to just present yourself in your own mode, in your own zone, so you don't have to go to a studio, especially, you know, you're in the bathroom and you bring your recorder, and that if that's where your voice comes out even better, go ahead and record yourself. We don't want to hear the show, of course, but you just, we're just saying. <laughs> <laughs> you hit the nail on the head, <laughs> my dear. Yeah, but yeah. Gregory, Gregory, a competition like this, and again, this one is, luckily for us, is focusing on music. Um, what do you think it's going to do for us here in Dominica? Um, the competition itself? The competition itself and the whole, you know. Yeah, well, um, quite apart from the competition, we also have the music forum on right. the on the 14th. That's the day before, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and that forum um, is very interesting as well because it, com it consists of workshops. We want to have some workshops like early in the afternoon for about 3 o'clock targeting teenagers, young children. You can come to a workshop and learn how to make beats or you know the basics of songwriting you know topics that that are really spot on for young people who want to get involved in music mm -hmm. and then later in the afternoon maybe like five-ish then we'll kick in with some panel discussions um, and the panel discussions are very informative as well I mean there's one the first panel is on um, um, the whole evolution of music in the Caribbean, mm -hmm. and we're looking at two experiences. The Anglophone experience, meaning the English-speaking mm -hmm. Caribbean mm -hmm. experience, and then the Francophone experience. Mm -hmm. So how the French. music evolved from back in the days of Bella in slavery time to, you know, through begin, mazooka, reggae, dancehall, calypso, suka, zook. How these old things just flow, flew or evolved from the tradition to the modern and looking at the experience of the Anglophone countries because they have a, a slightly different experience mm -hmm. and the Francophone experience, which Dominica is also part of. In fact, we're cutting on both sides. Mm -hmm. We're cutting on the yes. Anglophone and the mm -hmm. Francophone and that's yes. what makes Dominica so rich in some of its musical heritage and cultural heritage. Uh, so Dominica, in fact, we are under a very strong advantage. We sit between two countries of Europe, well, Martinique and Guadeloupe, and they speak Creole and all of that. So that's important. And then the third element of that music um, um, forum slash music jam session, it's called Caribbean Beats, Beatscape. Eh? Mm -hmm. So now the, 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 the third element of it is music performances. So we are identifying, because you got the pre-planned aspects of it. So we are, we, are, we are identifying some musicians and get them to prepare a, a, a little repertoire, maybe about three songs, um, and then of, of local and Caribbean genres, right? And But the focus here is that when apart, they will present the song as they want to present it, but with a focus now on pushing the boundaries. So if somebody is presenting a bouillon track, a bouillon piece, we also want them to push the boundaries of the bouillon. Mm -hmm. So bringing other elements in it to yes. demonstrate what we can do with the bouillon, yes. how we can diversify the bouillon. Okay. So it's a sort of a uh, experimental thing too. Yeah, like and that. musicians who are present can will be invited to join in at some part of the per performance and come in with their own, yes. you know, may put their own little zoo in the Kalalu, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I like that. I like <laughs> that. <laughs> uh, so that is the third um, interesting, and that is why for that particular event, we are targeting musicians, we are targeting DJs, we are targeting music producers, and we are targeting media people um, because um, we want to really um, get all the stakeholders to, one, to promote the music, but two, to... Um, make innovations within the music mm -hmm. uh, so that our music can reach a global space. And, and that is why, for example, on the third panel, I didn't mention the second and the third, on the third panel, the discussion centers around um, the, the challenges facing our music on the global space or the mm -hmm. global stage. Yeah? Um, so that is, um, that is one of the panels. 
and um, that's the second panel actually and then the third panel we look at music and social change um, the whole idea of how do we utilize our music for um, uh, raising consciousness about issues climate change domestic violence social issues um, mm -hmm. social issues and so on um, that kind of things um, and the wider development agendas you know for example after tropical disasters i mean erica and maria we we did have some interesting songs yes definitely. and you see and these songs will give people hope because yeah. we after those disasters i mean we don't we flat down you know we don't yeah. You know, so you really need, so that's where music comes in. Now. It's so sad to see them disappear after. Like, I remember coming here, I think I've told you this before, Milia. Um, I came here with a team after Erica, and there was this song we kept on hearing that mm -hmm. we just wanted it to be on our, our song. Oh, Dominica. No, let me tell who sang it. We will rise again. Jared, Jared Dorsett. Jared Dorsett. Yeah, that's right. And it was such a beautiful song. So a few, a few, early in the year, actually, I reached out to him to be like, yo, how can we incorporate this? Because we brought him on Creole Heartbeat. And it's just so much about old song, not a registered copy, and all these kind of things. Because these beautiful songs just disappear. And they can make an impact for all the things that's happening in the, in the world. But I wanted to ask one question. Sorry before. Mm -hmm. um, we so tomorrow is the official media launch for the Cada Slipso month. That and we're celebrating correct. 50 years of Cada sweet, sweet Cada Slipso sweet. music in Dominica and worldwide. But Miss Sabrina said that you strategically chose um, to be a part of the Caddis Lipso yes. Month um, for you guys to have the competition. Tell I know it's about music and Dominica, but why so much the Caddis? I know your roots, man. Even his hat, you see his hat, Amelia. Mm. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I know your <laughs> I know your roots, man. But how important is it for us to bring this to Dominica while we're celebrating Caddis Lipso Month? Well, let us put it first and foremost. Sakai Malad Creole Habit is part of the organizing. Yes committee of the Richard Scarry project. So um, so in a sense we have our foot in the door, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> our foot in the door. So um, and as Sabrina said, different Caribbean countries focus on different theme. For example, Trinidad coming up in September, the focus will be on cuisine. Oh, Caribbean Lord. food. Uh, can I come? Uh, of course, <laughs> <laughs> Melia, you take my space in in um Saint Lucia. I did? But can I go to Trinidad? <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you say food, I'm ready. Well, we're ready for food. Right? Well, you know, you know, you know, we have an issue there because <laughs> you love food too. I think I love food. Yeah. When I'm usually, I, I think the world knows that. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So, um, so Dominica, because of our history and contribution to music in the Caribbean, it was just a natural fit. There was like no argument, no issue. Mm -hmm. It just fits naturally for Dominica, um, the music. And of course, we chose Cadence Month because um, it helps to um, augment the range of activities mm -hmm. happening in um, Cadence Month and bring Caribbean people together. Because even last year and the year before, we did have other panelists and participants from other Caribbean islands in Cadence Lipso Month. So um, it just continues the whole idea of of um, reaching out to our Caribbean brothers and sisters, um, especially those closest to us, you know, Martinique, Guadeloupe, yeah. in terms of Cardinal's lips, so, um, and Haiti too. Um, so yeah, so it was just a natural fit, really. Yes. Yeah. Millia really loves kind of slips of music. Like mm. I remember when last year when we were talking about it, she would tell me her favorite one and the stories behind of it. But just not being raised in Dominica, it was totally last year was the first time I found out about kind of slips of music. So I can imagine people from the different islands, the ten islands, now being given a chance to know about kind of slips of music. Because I if we were doing a kind of slips of month, most definitely it's gonna be highlighted. So I think that is one of the benefits I'm thinking about here that definitely so it's not just Dominican music because Buyo we know everyone in the Caribbean now know Buyo and they want to pull on see the how they can sing Buyo too Buyo. Yeah. but for me I feel like Kadas is definitely the, 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 the genre that we should try to expound you know during this time because it's definitely not something that the English Caribbean is really associated or affiliated with like how we know about the Buyo I, the, the the thing about it, although I don't want to spend too much time on Cadence, because we'll have our time to speak yes. on Cadence, but you see the difference with Cadence is, is, you know, we know in every song there is a first verse, second verse, the third verse, depending 
whatever you want to bring. But you see, the thing about Karas is that there is always a story, no matter what you sing, what song, there is always a story in Karas. Can you bring that story across is another thing. And you, while you have bouillon, bouillon, for some reason nowadays it's more about the beat than, you know, mm -hmm. the content, but or the lyrics, I should say. But Karas is almost... Every time, all encompassing. <laughs> yes, one. I can even say one hundred percent of the time is a storytelling, yes. and it's relatable. A mm -hmm. lot of times, most of the times, it's relatable. And Karen's even while we are going to celebrate Karen's Lipso Month, but it's not a genre that is seasonal either. It's, yes. it's something that can you can take from January to December and you can have carrots and you can incorporate carrots in anything. You can have, a, uh, well, other than, you know, the bouillon, but you can take carrots from January to December. You can have a carrots, a carrots Noel. You can have a, a carrots, well, we have already have the Zouk de Copa, everything. You know, carrots can be incorporated in almost any other genre. Mm -hmm. So, uh, there is just something special about about carrots and 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 more so when when you have carrots that 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 incorporates you know the favorite language jesus christ you understand yes. i don't want to go further than that <laughs> <laughs> no but it's interesting interesting because um i mean we are currently at a unesco workshop and they were telling us for example um that's on intangible cultural heritage but they're telling us for example if we cannot apply for a language to be part of the international register just by itself, where it has to be yeah. how the language is used in transmitting some element of the culture. Mm -hmm. So, for example, let us say we could talk about how um, Creole is utilized in Cadence Lipso. Mm -hmm. um, and, and we all know that uh, the language of the music is very helpful for young people, anybody to learn the language. Mm -hmm. So, 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 Carlos Lipso is a very powerful vehicle for young people or for the teaching of Creole to young people in Dominica because they hear it. Because one of the ways to learn Creole, only put on lose that one or two. You yes. don't, once you're hearing it all wrong, you're picking mm -hmm. it up. Mm -hmm. You have to be surprised when you're picking up things so fast. That kind of thing. Because, so, because Julie herself have learned quite a bit of Creole <laughs> through Carlos music. Immersion, man. Yes, Immersion. she has. one in your national radio. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have. Oh, no, yes, you yes, have. yes, yes. So, yes, so, so the, 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 the music, the two music events we have in Dominica and the the other festivals and events taking place in Cardinal Sleep So Month. Yes, it's all, um, these are all aimed to give, um, well, Cardinal Sleep So first and foremost, but Dominic music, Dominical music in general, um, a shot in the arm to continue to promote it and, 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 and try to see how we can rise above the challenges facing our music right now uh, so that we can project it more on the global stage and to bring revenue for the practitioners, the musicians themselves. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Yes. And and you you, sp you speak of revenue, but we we must make people understand it's not always about the large shots that you can get. You can that can be derived from many opportunities. Sometimes, it's it's more about access. It's more about promotion. It's more about mm -hmm. you know. It's more about you half of the time. Yeah. And sometimes when you when you 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 talk about especially things like music and you give people an opportunity to to you know to bring themselves forward. You know sometimes the question is where the money no. You know, but it's not yeah. always that. That will come after. Obviously, yeah. you've developed yourself. Well, that's yourself. why it's interesting that there should be certain types of investments from the um, uh, the authorities, like the tourism sector, um, the culture, commercial yeah. sectors, that they can support the artists, right, in the production of music videos, for example. Now, depending on the theme of the music video, you use all this beautiful backdrop mm -hmm. of Dominica, the nature, mm -hmm. the waterfalls. And some of our musicians are doing that yes. on their own. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. And then when all that is on YouTube and, and, and then people, you know, they mm -hmm. see all these it's images. Dominica, they, they come God, out. What, I've got to come to Dominica. <laughs> yes. I have to come to this place. Yes. You see? So, um, yeah. So we have to look at the bigger picture, actually, and see how we can support the... The Cardinals live so much for the initiatives around music and all of that and all of that. But that's the point I was making earlier. That's why I was so impressed by seeing that you have the expertise for assists, import, export, you know, the training, because that is definitely going to do so much for the participants. And even if you even if you did not win, what what's in place for the runner ups? Like, you know, are they going to ever get a workshop? I know you said on the 14th there's something, but do they get even a little training or um or some sort of um <laughs> well the 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 mentor the mentor mm. um 
from Dominica, yeah. the one that is going to, to play that role. We, um, that person will have a workshop okay. with the participants on the 13th. Mm. Um, that's the first day before the competition, or sometime during that week anyway, um, so that the, they will be able to do some coaching. Uh, the, 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 the people will present their songs and get some advice from the from the mentor in terms of basic things, you know, voice projection, articulation, you know, that kind of thing, right? So so when they actually go to the show, they will have a few um, tips and tricks um, and then they will be able to put it in practice. I mean, when I was in Barbados, uh, the mentor there did it on the day before the show. Uh, so I witnessed the, his, his, um, his session um, and it was a very, very good session. I mean, the, the participants did learn a few things. He gave them advice. And he, you know, like they perform the song, give critic the song, and then they go back and perform it again, bearing in mind mm -hmm. the thing, you know. Mm -hmm. And then he still got another opportunity in the sort of dress rehearsal on stage to, to actually apply some of the things that they may not have been aware of in sort of a voice projection or whatever as part of the thing. So that is... That would be the benefit, immediate benefit for them. And of course, the fact that they will be uh, participating in the finals and all the media and publicity and promotion that goes with that. Mm -hmm. and, and, and we have to remember too, that when you get a Grammy nomination, mm. it's just as big as winning the Grammy, you know. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Grammy, nom you been, like Grammy nominated artist. <laughs> it's, it's just like, I mean, so, yeah, yeah. so everybody who gets to the final is actually a winner mm -hmm. in that sense. In that sense. Yes, yes. yes. All right. So, Dominica, here you have it. Get ready. It's all about Wishes Karai Boy's song. Uh, you have to forgive me. I just cannot do it. I'm sorry, Julie. Whatever. What's that? Uh, no, it, she was having a little challenge a little earlier, but I have to do it. So, oh, yes. <laughs> so it's Richesse Caraib voice song challenge, and it's carried for Dominica that's coming soon. As a matter of fact, tomorrow, as of tomorrow, you have the opportunity to register at www.richessecaraib.com. That is R-I-C-H-E-S-K-A-R-A. Yib.com, richesscaraib.com from tomorrow up until the 5th of July. So, again, all you have to do is register and upload your uh, music um, in the format of uh, MP4. MP4. MP4 video. Mm -hmm. Okay, and of course, the rules will be available for you um, on the website so you can get yourself acquainted with that. So, we are looking forward to your participation. Um, it's, of course, free registration and the winner will get the opportunity to represent Dominica at the final leg Grand Final in Martinique this coming October 2023 so if you can sing like Julie and if you are with <laughs> between the ages of 18 and 35 like Julie <laughs> like Julie <laughs> here is an opportunity for you to let your voice be heard it's mm -hmm. all about voice the Caribbean voice challenge coming yes. pretty soon Sounds pretty good. And also stay tuned because it's almost Kada Slip So Month. As I said, uh, we'll be launching Kada Slip Yeah, so tomorrow month is the launch, tomorrow. the press release. Yes. So stay tuned for the Ooh. 50th year. Wow, yes. 50 Golden years. Jubilee. 50 years. My imagine, mom, that's my mom. 50 years. Imagine I'm closer to that than you are. <laughs> <laughs> well, if my mom is, I mean, <laughs> come on. <laughs> But right. just to know that such an awesome genre has been in existence for 50 years, the Golden Jubilee will be celebrated this year. And for the entire month of July, we've dubbed it the Kata Slipso Month. Mm -hmm. And you know, here at Creole Heartbeat, not only are we the heartbeat of Dominica, but we are definitely the, the heartbeat, heartbeat of Kata Slipso. Not just Creole, but Kata Slipso. Yes. So stay tuned for everything. And any way you may want to collaborate with um, Creole Heartbeat this season, if you want to showcase music and stuff. I know we, we're going to have the big man like Mr. Rabez here. And, you know, we, we, do, we still deal with the small man. So if you have a little song and you want to be featured or something, you can still come forward to see how you can be a part of Kada Slipso with us this year. Look at him. <laughs> I like Mr. Rabez. I know this. I, really, really, really I know like this. Like you. You, you guys just clinged earlier. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. I, mean, I write songs as well. So, yes. um, yeah, the competition doesn't preclude me from writing a song for one of the competitors. But that would not be fair. <laughs> you know, if but at this, it doesn't, it doesn't preclude me. I say it doesn't. Really it doesn't. So it's an original song. At the end of the day, I'm how not do you really pre competing? I'm you not, present the song, yeah, and I'm it's not a competitor. joke, right? So, 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 but the important thing is, is, is 
the work has to be original. Mm -hmm. and, and that's it. Basically, that's, that's it. it. And you doing the voice, not me. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. And we're remember, running And remember, too, that the, 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 the singers are not necessarily songwriters. Yes. So you have songwriters of all age groups. And, um, you know, yeah, and, and, and young artists have their own singers and writers. Sorry, their own songwriters. So, so it's really a sort of a... Com, com, uh, so it's not just about the singer, it's about the songwriters too. All so right. Yeah. Both parties have to get busy. And also remember, Mr. Rabbit said that you can do an a cappella, which is just no music, no accompaniment at all. You can also do one with a tr over a track. Of course, just a voice, just, just a track, no um, voice, so just your voice, and also with an instrument. That's important. And as Mila say, you can do it in your most happiest place, in the bathroom, in your car. In your, in your car is really in, a good in, place to in, record. In your garden when nobody is yes. seeing you as well. So make sure farm. it's clear, yes. a video, MP4, and just go on the page and you find all that information. It is a brilliant opportunity. Take it away, Milia. <laughs> all right. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, listeners uh, to the Nation Station, DBS Radio. This is the end of a Creole heartbeat for today, and it's all about the Richard Scarry Voice Song Challenge. Got it for Dominica on the 15th of July. We hope to see you there. Until then, it is bye for now. Yes, I. Prince Papou a wete ba moun fle la yo moja kite la vi A kousiye sa yo ka fe ko yo a pa minou jondi La se mouve va le pe non